everybody, it's Gloria Tees with Real People Realty, or some of you may know me as Glow, as in hashtag Glow with Glow. Today's Formation Friday video is going to be about sewer scope. I am with Charlie from Chicagoland Home Inspectors. You guys may remember him. We did a video last year. But today we're going to talk about what is a sewer scope, when we would do it, um, what's entailed in it. It's not something that inspectors usually do, but it is an add-on service that you can get when you get your home inspected. Charlie. Mm -hmm. Why would we do, what is a sewer scope and why would someone want to do it? So this is our main sewer line from here. We have below grade uh, sewers. Uh, we don't have an ejector pit or overhead sewers. So everything in this house flows down below and that's how most of Chicago land is and the nearby collar communities. The further out you get, most people will put overhead sewers in. Okay. But nonetheless, it goes here, then it follows a pipe that goes out to the street sewers, mm -hmm. and that all belongs to the homeowner. So if that is damaged, such as broken tiles, if it's a, a, a low area, if it has displacements in the tiles, all these things are letting water get through the, the tiles themselves, mm -hmm. and they'll eventually get worse. And once they clog everything up, you're going to have raw sewage coming back into the house. And if that happens, obviously it's catastrophic. And getting them fixed, a minimum cost is usually 3000 to have somebody Yikes. dig up the sewer line outside. And then it can go all the way up to 10000 if you start getting with the franchises and stuff. And this is no disrespect to Roto-Rooter, but you know, franchises like that do charge more. Bigger companies, more insurance and stuff like that. So you uh, were saying even like tree roots, you'll be able to see if there's tree roots. Yeah. In fact, as we're going out right now, if you shine on there, that's actually what tree roots look like in the mine, right? Okay. So when they get bad, because they're going to keep looking for water, and there's definitely water inside the sewer line, okay. so they're going to keep growing in there. Okay. And it's going to have to be rotted out sooner or later. Okay. If it does. So what we're going to do is keep pushing the cable through. Mm -hmm. and, Pulling off. And I do have a short of my cable, so I apologize. Every now and then you're going to see a blank out. Okay. And we're going to work our way until we get to the city, city sewer. far to go down well you keep going until we get to the city sewer line so okay. right now we're still in the local line if you can see down here at the bottom that's the water flowing uh -huh. all right so when we get into the city sewer line that's going to have a large amount of water flow and usually we're going to end up with a drop so a change in direction when it comes to that okay wow this goes a long way yeah all the way up to the street so our cameras are 200 feet. Sorry that they broke up again on you. Our cameras are, we got 150 foot cameras and 200 foot cameras. sewer line does need a little cleaning now that's a pretty heavy root line mm -hmm. right there well, okay. if we come back mm -hmm. you know stuff is still going through there but you know what i think it's time to get this one rotted okay. i wait until it backs up so that brings up a really good point everybody um if you got this inspection you'd be able to see that right now versus after moving in the house and realizing it needs to be rotted and having to pay for that expense up front, if you know about it ahead of time, you can negotiate with the seller uh, to possibly have that done for you. And this is what we look at, they're called displacements. Mm -hmm. Now, the drawback is we don't know how long it took to move that. Bit right, okay. And how fast it's gonna move in the future, but it is a displacement. So those are things that we document. Okay. Clean off the camera. Looks like we're in a low area. Just checking. I think that's the so 
you guys, if you have any questions about sewer scoping, I can put you in direct contact with Charlie if that's a service you'd like to have. Or if you have questions about real estate, my contact information is on this page. You can reach out to me, answer any questions you have, or put you in contact with Charlie. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys next month.